Now we're going to talk about beryllium. And whenever we do this, I'm going to add two more of the properties of each of these elements. Element, uh, beryllium is a light element. It has a valence of plus two. What that means is beryllium will hook to two other elements. Now we've got to start thinking outside of the box on each one of these. So let's pull the atom out of the box. This is the old theory and has an atomic uh, number four, four protons, has an atomic number nine. So now it's got five uh, neutrons. How and why they stick together like that, I don't know. But in the theory, you have a, a low shell here now, where you have two items circling in a low shell. Suppose they just be light, magic force, you know, you don't believe in that, it's fine. And then you got an, uh, this, this electromagnetic force now has an outside shell that, that holds two atoms in the outside, or two electrons in the outside shell. How that makes any sense, I mean, everybody ought to build one of these just to see if it looks as strange to you as it does to me. But what I want to do is now show you this comparison to the key ring atom. So right here is a key ring atom here without any electron rings in it. The proton ring configuration for this now is C5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, proton rings at the center, with a 2L2, two, two legs of 2. Two proton rings here, two proton rings here. So whenever you have the plus 2 valence, which they teach in chemistry now, which I think they have dead on right, that's how many of these will hook on, now you have two legs to where whenever you have a compound and you hook other elements, this is where they're going to be able to hook on. Just like hooking up a chain link fence is what it amounts to, so you're going to hook them in quite easily. So when you fill in all the electron rings like this, you have this. Now, whenever you do this, notice how hard it is to see what's inside the atom which is the problem they have in physics. They can't see inside of it. Call it electron cloud. And this, in this instance here, it's electron ring cloud. So whenever you look at these two, or these two different models here, you can compare them. You can make up your own mind of what works and what doesn't. This holds together. This holds together. This needs magical forces. So if you want to believe in magic and you want to stay in the box, this is the atom for you. Stay in the box if that's what you want. Just remember, physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.